Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, welcome back to another LEGO Movie 2 set review. Sorry I didn't get one out yesterday, or did I? Was it Duplo? I don't remember, but uh, anyways, today we will be looking at set number 70831, Emmett's Dream House Rescue Rocket, and this has 706 pieces, and I had kind of actually been putting building this set off for a while, and, and only because I knew that I had to build two of the models, uh, so I actually built the ship first because I knew that that was going to be the one that I would take apart and then I would keep the house on display and uh, I'm just going to warn you I might be a little just too negative about this set um, I think that this is definitely one of the best ones in the wave I just have not maybe a little maybe a lot of problems with this and I'll get to why in a second but uh, this set of course has 706 pieces, I think I mentioned that already, and it retails for $89.99 Canadian, and it's $69.99 American. To me, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, and I do genuinely think that you are getting your money's worth here in this set. And I wanted to also build this one and have it to compare against the Sistar ship before I reviewed that, so that I had a judgment of the two of them because they are the same price i wanted to let you guys know which ones i think were probably the best way to go when you're buying a set for that much money i guess what we'll do is we'll take a look at all of the millions of side builds that we've got going on here all right starting things off we're going to look at the remover and this is actually really cool it is the remover in like the light uh the the teal kind of blue and that's really awesome to get i think that this might be in two for one or three for one sets maybe in 2019 this is the only set so far that comes with this there's also a green one i thought that leaked um but anyways that's really cool it's nice to get a different color of these here is the next side build we're gonna look from i guess the smaller ones first and then we'll go to the biggest one and this is like a barrel with the i don't know what that is one of the anchor pieces or however anchor a uh, steering wheel pieces um two white studs in there moving on we've got a missile launcher attached to some of the weird technic pipes and such uh just strange strange build uh, moving on we've got the i guess the boom box for them he's got an awesome mixtape it's not actually printed on there my camera focuses there we go and that is what it looks like. This is actually a missile launcher piece. Interesting part usage there. Remember, this is a two-in-one. In here, we have two little barrels uh, in gray stacked on top of each other. If we open it up, there is actually a frog inside both of them. Moving along to the other smallest one. And I, I, I don't know what this is. And... and, and yeah, we'll go to the smallest side build. This is like a, a barricade. We'll go with it, it, it. It's kind of a mess. And and when I was talking to Justin about this, we mentioned that there was actually an illegal part usage here. I guess that has become legal. But if you look here, this is actually one of the Technic pieces. Same sort of attachment that the Doc Ock arms use. And you take it. It's on a skeleton foot. And what you do is you just prop it on there. And you bend it, but it's so loose and flimsy. It's just, it is attached. I just didn't know that was an actual way to build it. Just again, really strange to me. Um, here's a missile launcher. You know, you push down on the back of it, if it works. You push down on the back of it and it shoots. Uh, here's the back. Just, it's, it's a mess of parts. Here's the Sistar ship little print that you'll see later on in the spaceship. That's what it's being used for, but that's it for the side build. I'm going to keep it off to the side. We're going to move ahead here, and I just I don't know what this is. It seems to be some sort of water tower, and I'll get to why in a second, but it's just a hodgepodge of... I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm the man upstairs at the end of the movie. Like, what is this? Is this... What, what is this dragon doing here on top of this luxury condo development just it just doesn't make sense to me <laughs> anyways here's some of the pieces from the roof uh you know because this to me reminds me of the junkyard set that that the juniors or the four plus benny and emmett set this is really cute it's like a little mini model of the house so i guess like they're working on it or like this is in their head they already know like oh no we might need to turn our house into a, a ship let's keep spare parts in our 
backyard. I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, again, just random, random stuff. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't like it. Look at all these Technic pieces, blah, blah, blah. Here's all the parts. Again, the barrel piece connected to the thing. This is supposed to, it, it looks like a water stand. And if you actually take the top off inside, there's 11 Technic pieces there. The little, little pieces that you put in to attach things. There's 11 of them. I guess they're representing water. And they're just hidden away there because they have no part usage in this set at all. I, I I just it's just so strange to me. Um, but that that's it for the side builds. Uh, I don't really have anything much else to say about that besides I don't like it at all. So here we have it. This the main build of the set that I was most excited for in this first wave of sets, and I'm I'm very very disappointed. Um, it does look really nice. It is a good smaller representation of obviously what their house looks like, their dream house looks like in the film. Um, you do see a lot of similarities carrying over from the ship to this. I uh, like this the frame here, um, the the window frame. The chimney is actually the same. Uh, I was surprised by how much you actually did have to take apart. You have to take apart almost the entire thing. I'm, I think the windows are pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, they're the same on the ship, except for the, the fact that this is switched, except I might have built that wrong. Nope, looking at the box, I built it right. Um, so that is switched on the ship. Not sure why they didn't just keep it the same. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. They've got little flowers outside. It, it It's a great build. Like, it, it is... It's just the money goes... A, a lot of it will go to the side builds, and I just don't agree with that. Um, anyways, their front door looks really nice. I like this, the, the little white panels. I'm not sure those pieces... I'm not sure if the pillars have ever come in white before. Probably have, but I'm probably in some Disney princess sets and stuff. Looking inside, we'll look at the first area first. The first part. Um, this is really nice. They've got a little walkthrough area. Um, this is interesting usage for the lamps. Uh, they have their family portraits uh, of Lucy and then Emmett over there. And I guess they adopted Unikitty because she has no home anymore because Cloud Cuckoo Land is gone. Um, so I think that she's maybe living in the attic, and that's her picture up there. Uh, that's really interesting part usage for the um, the pipe pieces, which you'll see in the ship. I think that works really well. It's supposed to be like maybe the heating or air conditioning in the house. I like that a lot. Not sure what the heck that is, why there's a pole just, just there. Just, just strange to me. And this, to me, I think does not look very good. I wish that they that that you didn't see that. Uh, like when I'm building houses and such, which you'll eventually see in my city, I I don't show that part of it. I get that on the front you need it to be flat, and but when you do open it up, I don't want to be able to see that. Like it, that's just my opinion. Um, but that's that's it for that. Uh, their couch is really cute. I love the, the pieces here. Those are some nice colors that you do see in the other set, in the other version of the set, and I think that they're definitely used better here. Uh, their windows are really nice. Um, don't like this. This is supposed to be a lamp, a light on the ceiling, and this actually, uh, it is pretty stuck on there, but it was actually holding two beams there together. So that's good, that's good I guess, structurally. Uh, let's look at the next section. Their table is really short, and I will show you Emmett sitting down at the table, um, because to me, it's just, it looks a little too, it's too short. Just strange to see a chair straight on the floor. Not something that typically happens. Uh, but looking at their TV, that's really cool. Again, I feel like everything's too low for minifigures. Like, even when you're standing, it just, it just, you can't even see it standing up, technically speaking. Like, it's just, it's not even an eye. I'm nitpicking that, at least. But the rest of it, like... Here it's showing again. I'm not sure what's going on here in the roof, like the attic. I don't get what that's supposed to be. Um, but I knocked over the cup here. And uh, their plates are interesting. It's the stamp piece upside down with a red um, red plate, I guess. And so their frying pan. I wonder if that was the same stove as the ship because I, I built it two days apart, so I can't really remember. But... 
that's it really for the house. I don't have too much to say. I do want to complain, uh, I, uh, not complain, I guess. I want to compare the two um, at the end after you take a look at the ship so that you get a sense of what I'm talking about. Here is, of course, Emmett's rescue rocket. And this, to me, it, I haven't built the other one, so I can't say which model level I like better. But in terms of display, I will be displaying the house just because I prefer play sets and different things like that. I do really like the build, though. I was surprised that I actually enjoyed it as much as I did. If you turn it around, you can see that the thrusters are right here. And this, I believe, are from parts. Uh, it's kind of like the side build. Uh, obviously, they needed to include random, like pieces like the what is this this is like the the barrels or the the pirate lookouts in gunmetal gray i'm not sure if that's new or not i think it is i've never seen it in that color before i think that the thrusters look really cool and the, the ways that they were it, it's just a really fun build i like the pipes here that go that seem to go into the house give it that illusion it doesn't of course but it, it ends right there but that looks really awesome Looking at it from the front, you can see that the, the, the that's where the cockpit is, and I like the little fence there. It just it it feels like a really good translation from the house into the rocket, which I guess is a testament to Emmett's master building skills. Looking again at the back before we look on the inside, at the thrusters, these are all on little ball joints so they can rotate and such move around. The flowers here at the bottom, what you actually do is if you push on them it will shoot two of the missile, the flick, the missile launchers. Boom. So there you go, and I can show you where they are. So if you look there, you've got blasters to make it seem like they're actually pointing out, and then you put the spring, you put the, the, the missiles right inside there, and that is where you shoot them out from. I don't want to shoot myself in the eye. Uh, these can actually rotate up and down. I think they're meant to be stationary, though. And um, if you look, actually, from underneath, let's see if I can do this without shooting myself. <laughs> it's, it's a cute little build with the cups and such. I, I wonder what they're going to be used for in the house. Uh, turning it around, you've got just a 8x8 base plate there. The window up here can actually open, uh, but there is a glass there, so you can't go all the way through. Um, but that is it, I think, for the exterior. Nothing really else. There's a, there's a bit of, like, an overhang there. Again, it looks like a house, which is just something that I really love. And I'm interested to see how much I actually have to take apart to build into the house. So taking this roof off, you can see it's a really solid build. And you just take it off like that. And it actually attaches to the it uses the same sort of system that the modular houses do um, there's the inside of the house i think it it, it 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 feels like a house again which i really love the i like there is actually a spot for two people i believe that this right or the top one i guess because we're on an angle here so you can sit him there and of course his best bud planty all right and there you have it so planty and Emmett piloting the rescue rocket ship. You can see that there's supposed to be like a little stove back there uh, with some nice little flowers in the window and it's repeated on the other side and that, I guess that's supposed to be a table there next to those flowers. If you actually open the door up here, it shows the TV as well. If it focuses as well as the family pictures of Unikitty, Lucy and Emmett. And of course, on the front here, you have two uh, stickers. All of these are stickers, by the way. These two stickers here. One is a little nice little nod to him being Star Lord, of course, with the mixtape, as well as a printed little picture of the of General Mayhem's starship. So that's really neat as well. Closing it up. Uh, I guess just looking at the tops here, nothing, just wanting to show you that. I did like that build there, it's hard to see, um, but it's just some clever part usage to fill that. Um, let's put the roof back on, and I forgot to show something beforehand. Um, besides the chimney, of course, which you can see on top there, that's a nice little build. I don't like this, however. This is my least favorite part, I think, of the entire uh, version of this 
set. I, I, I don't think that it finishes the top well. I understand that they had a problem there, but I don't think that works. So that's a little disappointing to me. If you actually take these panels off, all four of them, slide right off to reveal the attic with some pipes and stuff inside. I really like that. Some gold, probably metal beards. There's also, you can do the same to the other side. So you can show that. There's also two frogs up there. Not really sure why that's the thing. Maybe that has something to do with the movie. Maybe they get some pet frogs or something. I don't know. I think plenty is enough for the two of them. But yeah, you just pop them off and you just slide them on. They attach right there to the studs. And it's it's super easy to take on and off. But uh, that is going to do it for the second version of this build. Here is the Emmet of this set, and again, it uses the same torso and legs that all the other Emmets have. He comes with an adorable 1x2 printed tile of a pillow of Emmet and Lucy forever. And I just love that so much. I was so happy when we saw it in the trailers. I, I was worried that we weren't going to get it in the set, but of course we did. There's his back printing again. Nothing, nothing unusual here. This is the same that we get in all the other ones. If you take his hair off, you can actually see that this is a brand new face print for him. Uh, a little uncommon one, I'm not sure how many other sets this comes with, but I do really like this one, one of my favorites, and it's it's definitely different than a lot of the other ones. I like to think that this is him trying to be tough when he meets Rex in space, kind of like when Star-Lord met Thor and he was acting all British and all macho, so this is definitely one of the better face expressions. Uh, that look different and feel different than all the other ones. Um, a lot of the other ones are always just him scared, but he's a master builder now, so hopefully he, he won't be always... Here is Lucy, or Wild Style, in her apocalyptic outfit. Uh, this is her her outfit that she has in all of the trailers and such. Something interesting to note here is that the torso printing for the female figure, like the silhouette there, is actually in dark tan and not gray. So I, I guess that's just because it's, it's supposed to add to the, the grime and dirt of her outfit. Um, it focuses it. Her boots are actually dual molded which is the same as Han Solo's, which I really love. has some beautiful leg printing there on the side, if you can see that. And of course, her hair is molded in with the goggles with some printed detail right there in red and white. If you continue to turn it around, you can see that the wrap on her neck actually goes above the hood, and I can actually show that off right now. So taking her hairpiece off, you can actually see her other facial expression. It's the same as all the other ones, and it's nothing special. And I was right before. It's actually misprinted, so it's actually off to an angle. Watch how if I turn this around, it's facing right at you, and then if on the back, it's off to the side. So that's kind of a printing mistake. Hopefully they fix that in the future. But if we take off her head there for a second... Can take a look at the torso and she has her neck showing which is different than the ones that the Lego movie had. She also has different arm printing which is really nice and uh, but I believe that's the same sleeve. So if you put the quiver back on you'll notice that when you put the wrap on it actually molds and fits right over that. So let me just pop that on there. And then you can put her head back on, and that is it for the character. Here is Rex Danger Vest, and his jetpack is a little crooked, but there we go. Just fixed it. He, this is a really nice figure. This is the only uh, set that he comes in with his space outfit, so this is really awesome to get. Uh, his jetpack is a really nice build. It comes with the new the, the, the cheese slope that can go up two studs and then connect at the top. It has a printed R, and this is actually used in the Rexplorer set as well. I like the jetpack build. I like the use of the lightning pieces there. I think that looks really cool for a jetpack. Uh, if you turn him around, it just gets a nice look at the torso printing, as well as if you notice, the legs here are dual molded. 
with navy at the top and blue at the bottom. And I'm not sure if this is the first time, but that, that looks really awesome. Really nice to get. I love the arm printing here. Definitely one of the most detailed figures that we're getting in the first wave of Lego Movie 2 sets. I believe that this is supposed to be the same helmet as the... It looks to be the same as some of the uh, biker, the motocross uh, ones that we've gotten in some of the city sets. And it has a printed R on top with a green stripe going across too. Again, his color scheme, just, I, I love the color scheme for him. If you take it off, this is nothing new. Taking off his helmet, here he is with his hairpiece, a uh, really nice face print. I think this is the same one that comes in the cheap book that you can get. And turning around his hair and head, again, you see the tuft because they are both being played by Chris Pratt. And he's got a more angry or stunned expression, not really sure what that's supposed to be. But again, great figure, uh, one of the best, I think, uh, in terms of printing all over and the dual molding and oh, just such a great figure uh, One of my favorites I think of this year Here is Alter Caddy or Unikitty or Angry Kitty, however you want to call her uh, But right here. This is her one of two builds that she comes with in the set. Uh, this is the only set at the moment that she comes in um, but it, it builds a little different than the other unikitties now i guess because of the alternate build they don't they use the old system where it's just the stud and you have the one by three there and you attach it it doesn't have the stamp piece so that's interesting to me i guess again because of the uh double build but that is it she has some fire printing and such on her tail and legs here is the alternate unikitty build and it is really adorable i like it she just looks so cute sleeping there you could put her in the attic there of course and it's just it's it's really nice uh it's nice that they included some extra pieces to build a variant of her um i just i think it's really adorable and uh, really nice way to complete the coziness and dream house aesthetic of course we couldn't forget to look at the breakaway star from the first Lego film, Planty, and he comes with a, or she, they come with a fez piece that connects to the 2x2 two two round tile with a hole in it. it. It just attaches into the fez piece that is upside down. And I don't, I believe that this is the first time that we're getting him brown, so that's really cool to be getting. And I love getting Planty, although he is in the Thricycle set, this is a great inclusion and definitely com you can like really reenact the scene from the trailer which i really appreciate all right well now that you've seen both of the two builds i just need to quickly show you some things that i forgot to show off uh, these are actually attached on a ball joint so you can rotate the barricade if you wanted to you know because that's that's definitely a play feature in the set as well as Lucy is holding these two little lights, uh, which doesn't really make sense. I guess maybe that is supposed to be a spaceport and she's like flagging in ships to come in and land. Uh, but here we go. Now that you've seen both of them, I'm going to show you why I, I'm not a, I'm not as big a fan of this set as, as I should be maybe. When I was building the ship first, I thought that the usage of these um, pillars were were lazy. And I thought, okay, so this must be, you know, when they're building a, a, a three in one or a two in one, you genuinely feel like you can tell which one was built first. And then they kind of threw together the rest of the pieces for the side builds and such. So when I was building the rocket ship, I thought that I was feeling that that was the, the one, you know, with the pillars and the roof, it was just, it was kind of a mess. I didn't really get why some of the parts were there and such. But then when I built the house, I was floored. This is, it's just, it's so weird to me. I, I'm not sure. I, I could be, I don't, I don't know. Am I being too negative? When you look at this specifically, there's a Technic pieces thrown in there. There's, there's little studs in here just thrown in there. And to me, when you're putting this on the front of the box, I want this one to be the one that stands out and when you're looking inside in the roof can you imagine let's let's just pretend that this was in here and all the other sides builds it was just the figures in planty and unikitty and they built that do you know how many people would be complaining that that looks so bad so when you're thinking of it as an individual set i i i, 
I can't really recommend it. It's like most of the stuff I'm just going to use for parts. And granted, I guess that is the idea of it, that they use the parts to build the ship. But I don't know. I kind of regret, regret now actually taking apart the ship, even though I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure where all the money goes in this set. So, yeah, that is it for this review. I hope that you all have a great day. Uh, tomorrow is going to be New Year's. So in case you don't watch a video tomorrow, I hope that you all have a fantastic New Year's Eve. And I will see you all in the next video.